Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I took a bit of a break from YouTube because I was traveling with my family recently. We were trying to fit in as many vacations as we could before school starts here in Georgia. It started August 2nd, which is so early to me. So for pretty much the entire almost month of July, we were trying to just go on as many trips as we could. We traveled from here to Canada. That was my first time in Toronto. I was very excited. I'd been to Montreal once before, but this was my first time in Toronto. It was so much fun. I uh, posted on my Instagram asking you guys like some recommendations to visit and you guys really came through. So by the way, follow me on Instagram because I always post deals and sales and steals but I picked up some exciting things from Toronto and some exciting things that are exclusive only to Canada that I got from Louis Vuitton. I did visit Bloor Street, like the boutiques on Bloor downtown. And then I went to Yorkdale Mall because of your recommendations. And I got some other really exciting stuff specifically from Bulgari that I wanted to share with you. Not only did we travel to Canada because it was a road trip, because right now I'm just not trusting plane travel, we drove. So we stopped in Kentucky to visit family, went to Toronto, Canada, went to Niagara Falls. I also went to New York, New Jersey, DC, Virginia, and then Columbia, South Carolina, also visiting family and friends along the way. I also had my high school reunion. Now to all these destinations, I opted for a road trip versus airplane airline travel. If possible, I always try to travel by car rather than subject myself to the unknown forces of airplane travel. To make all these long road trips as comfortable as possible, I always wear Tommy John. This video is very kindly sponsored by Tommy John. I'm so happy to be partnering with Tommy John once again because their clothes, their underwear, their bras are so comfortable, so breathable. I first was put onto Tommy John by my husband. He prefers their second skin mid-length boxer briefs with the six inch inseam, and they have a few different inseam options available, but he loves that they don't bunch. He loves how comfortable they are, how stretchy. They don't have any tags, and so the material is very cool and very soft, very stretchy, super comfortable to sleep in. And then for the women's counterpart, I like the second skin boy shorts, which also don't have any tags so they're not itchy they are super comfortable i wear them to sleep you can wear them out and about they don't have any visible lines under your clothes and so they are just so comfy and breathable throughout the day throughout your long travel journeys and my favorite bra from tommy john is their second skin triangle bralette i'm wearing it under my tank top right now this is in the color maple sugar so it's a really nice nude color you can't see it under your white clothes but this bra is so great because it's very supportive but it doesn't have any wires there's no digging into you it is adjustable and it fits me perfectly. I can wear it throughout the day because again, it's supportive, but because there's no wires, I can actually wear this as a sleep bra at night. It's just my favorite bra. It is so versatile. You can wear it day and night. It doesn't dig into you. It fits me perfectly comfortably. It doesn't cause weird lines or lumps under my clothes. I just love it. And it's also my go-to travel bra. I also love how versatile the loungewear is. This is the lounge tank in dress blues, and I have it paired with the dress shorts. This is perfect for the summer. The material is just so soft and cool when you are traveling in a hot summer car for long hours on a road trip. And then you can also pair it with the matching top or the long joggers in the winter. So I wear the loungewear throughout the day. I love that it has pockets. And then once I'm at my destination and I am getting ready for bed and changing, I change into the second skin sleepwear. This is the second skin sleep shorts, also in dress blues. Just like the second skin underwear, this has no tags and no seams that dig into you. The material is a lot thinner than the loungewear. So it's almost like you're not wearing anything when you're going to bed, but you can still look very stylish while being very comfortable, especially in the matching sets. Thank you to Tommy John for sponsoring this video. Sponsors like Tommy John make it possible for me to keep making videos. So by supporting Tommy John, you are directly supporting my channel. Click the link in the description box below and use my code HEATEDMESS4 or scan the QR code on the screen to save 25% off and free shipping on your order of $75 or more. Thank you, Tommy John, for sponsoring that portion of the video. Now let's get to the rest of my Canada haul. Okay, now this collection, I didn't technically bring it back with me from my trip to Canada. However, it did launch online in the US while I was in Toronto, I purchased it online. And then coincidentally, it shipped from Ontario. So I was like, I could have brought it back with me. But anyway, I bought the entire Bass and Barbie the movie collection, almost the entire collection. I got the travel wallet, passport, 
luggage tag case, the makeup bag, the mini weekender, and the carry-on roller. They did come out with all three sizes, but I just got the carry-on size. But guys, look how cute. So here's the travel wallet. I've already used the entire collection because once I ordered this, I turned around and went on another road trip. So I used the entire collection. I plan to do a full review because it is a little different from the rest of the base collection. Here's the makeup bag. I am so happy I got it. I was debating whether to even purchase this because if you've been watching my YouTube channel, you might have found me from one of my base bag product reviews. I love everything from base. I have their entire luggage collection in different colors. I have the makeup bag in several colors. It's just so cute. And what makes the base Barbie collab so different and unique and special is this passport and luggage ID set comes in this, you know, clear travel toiletry pouch. And then the passport, you have a passport cover that has a little Barbie land passport. How cute. This also comes with the matching luggage tag. And then the travel wallet has the little Barbie driver's license. How cute is this? I love this collection. I'm so glad I picked it up. It sold out pretty quickly from the day it launched and then they offered a restock opportunity where you could pre-order and then it would ship out. I think the latest date would be like January. <laughs> I'm glad I picked up the entire collection. Here's the travel wallet and here's the mini weekender. I just love this and I love that the makeup bag fits in the bottom compartment of the mini weekender. I posted when this became available. So if you were eyeing this, I hope you were able to get your hands on it. It sold out very fast. Again, follow me on my Instagram because I posted when this sneak peek was available. I posted when it went live, sold out very fast. Again, with these highly anticipated launches, they sell out so fast. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram because I will update you when these are available and when they restock. And then I followed everyone's recommendations. This was a family trip. So I had my kids, my husband, my mom, my aunt, uncle, my cousins were there. We all went downtown to the CN Tower and the aquarium, which was a ton of fun. And then we were able to venture onto Bloor Street where all the major fashion houses were. I went into the LV store on Bloor Street and I was dead set on getting some SLG, some small wallet or something, or maybe even a bag, maybe luggage, so that it would come with another luggage tag that I could get hot stamped with the Canada stamp. So again, if you watched my other shopping vlogs when I went to the Philippines, I was able to get the passport holder with the Manila stamp. And so these LV stores, depending on the city, they have their own location, either the city stamp or a country hot stamp. I love my little Manila stamp. I got this in gold. This one I got from the Makati LV. And then I went to the LV store in the Solaire's Resort Casino and I got a Victorine wallet with the same manila stamp. So with Canada, I was very curious what they had. I didn't really do research ahead of time, but I knew I wanted something with a Canada stamp. I didn't know that they had a Canada stamp and a Toronto, it was either Toronto or Ontario stamp. And the Canada stamp was a maple leaf. The Ontario stamp was the CN Tower. To me, I continually kept referring to the CN Tower as the Space Needle. I just was thinking of Seattle, you know, I'm American. I just was like, no one's gonna know what the Space Needle is. It's not the Space Needle, it's the CN Tower. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the Canada Maple Leaf stamp. After much hemming and hawing and debating between different styles of wallets and card cases, I decided on this little wallet that I had never seen before. This is a brand new style or relatively new, but it is the, I think it's called the Lisa wallet. So it's monogram, canvas on the outside. You can see the zipper pull is this oversized LV charm. And inside is this Barbie pink color. And I got the Canada stamp with the maple leaf in gold so that it kind of matches the gold made in stamp here on the other side. Very cute. They were able to do it right away. Long story short, I actually ended up getting this from the LV store in Yorkdale. I did go to the Bloor Street location, but they didn't have, you know, what I wanted, whatever. Both stores were very nice and very, accommodating, but I did end up getting this at the Yorkdale location and it is just so cute, Canada. I like this wallet because it's very small, it's compact. You have a few credit card slots and you still have a billfold and you have a change pocket on the side. This still has the little style number. There's a QR code. So yeah, it's called the Lisa monogram, that LOLL. -L -L. I think it's because it, I feel like the color is lollipop pink or something but that's the style number. And even the coin purse is pink. I just thought it was so fitting because I had just ordered the pink base, <laughs> base and Barbie. I just was kind of like Barbie minded 
when I got this. Very cute. You have a card slots here. This is basically a smaller version of the Victorine wallet, which I really like because again, I like that it has the billfold and credit card compartments and the coin purse because if you ever have random coins, I just like to have it in a little compartment on the side rather than jingle jangling around my purse. But that is my new LV Lisa wallet with the Canada hot stamp. And then these next two items are from my current obsession, Bulgari. I have been on such a Bulgari kick, specifically the Serpenti collection. I went to the Philippines earlier this year and I, I got the Bulgari Serpenti watch from Manila. I also got the Bulgari ring, the Serpenti Viper bracelet I got from Dubai. And then these next two items I've been just thinking about and thinking about and finally when I went to Canada, because I am such a fan of international shopping and making sure that the conversion works in my favor, because I did end up saving a bit of money with the conversion from American to Canadian. Even though Toronto has a 13% sales tax, I did save money getting this. So let me just go ahead and reveal it to you. If you've been watching my Instagram or my TikTok, you would have seen this because I did kind of a reveal. The reason that I justified this is that I had some events coming up, but I'm gonna just reveal it to you. So I got my first Bulgari bag and it is the Bulgari Serpentine top handle in black with the gold little serpentine handle there at the top. I just think this is a work of art. I've been wearing it. I've been trying this on at every single Bulgari store and I just passing on it and waiting until the right time. And when I was at the Bulgari store in Yorkdale Mall in Toronto. I was like, okay, I have to do it. She was so nice. They, she actually gifted me a bottle of champagne, which I ended up gifting to my uncle because it was his birthday. She gifted it because I had mentioned that this year is the 75th anniversary of the Serpentine collection from Bulgari. And when I bought my watch and the ring from the Bulgari store in Manila, Philippines, they actually gifted me this notebook which I shared in my last video, but I just love notebooks. It's just a cute little lined notebook. You have the picture of one of their watches <laughs> and then you have the little notebook here. So yeah, they had a bunch of events in stores. Unfortunately, the Bulgari store near me in Atlanta closed during COVID and never reopened. So I am relegated to shopping at other stores. I just love this bag so much. I already wore it to my high school reunion. It was great, it was a hit. I got so many compliments on this. And then I also have a wedding coming up in September. And I just knew that I would be able to wear this, not just to special occasions, but also casually. This has a top handle when you wanna be a little dressy. But then if you notice here, I wasn't, I didn't close it, but it has these little latches on the side. It opens up. I love how it opens up too. I'll, I can do a full review, but this just pops open this way. There's the interior. It is a such a pretty, almost like a Tiffany blue green color. You have the leather shoulder strap here. And then these pop out if you want to attach the strap. If you don't want to attach the strap, this just kind of pops back in so that it's not sticking out on either side. Very cute. My first Bulgari bag. I forget the exact price, but I believe this retails currently in the US for 4,500. In Canada, I forget what the Canadian price is, but the conversion from US to Canadian, you, I actually saved money, even with the 13% tax. So whatever the numbers were, I saved money buying it in Canada. And then this final item is from a different Bulgari boutique. This technically is not from Canada, but I got it on the way back home from Canada, so I'm gonna include it. I actually ended up going to the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey. I went to the Bulgari Boutique over there. They were so nice. The store wasn't as big as the Bulgari Toronto, which is a flagship store, but she was amazing. She actually gifted me <laughs> this amazing book because I mentioned that I got the Serpentine 75th anniversary whatever gift, and she was like, she was very apologetic. She said they didn't have that gift, but they had this, which is even better. <laughs> it's this book, Bulgari Eden, The Garden of wonders book and it has this double-sided cover i haven't opened it yet because i just want to keep it protected while i was traveling but very lovely coffee table book this is made by rizzoli which is the same i don't know publisher or whatever that makes these like designer coffee table books from other fashion houses i have the same one from i think Louboutin. lovely little coffee table book very nice gift from Bulgari. She was also very kind to include the Bulgari red envelopes from Lunar New Year earlier this year. But without further ado, here it is. 
I did open it just to check, but it's a semi-live unboxing. And I feel like you could guess what this is based on my other choices. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting polls because I was debating so hard whether to get this or the bag. Like many people actually messaged me and said, you're gonna end up getting both. <laughs> And I did, so here it is. It comes in this lovely little presentation folio. Here it is, you pull this open. And I got the Serpentine necklace. This only comes in rose gold. It comes in a couple different versions. I got the one where it's just the diamonds on the head and the tail, but I tried this on and I just could not stop thinking about it. I just could not stop thinking about it. I love the bracelet. I love the ring. I wear the bracelet all the time and I knew that I wanted to basically complete the set. I love the presentation here, but this is it. I'll try it on for you briefly. Here it is up close. It is so stunning. The way it kind of curls around the necklace, it always falls forward so that the diamonds and the head is facing forward. The way the clasp works is that the clasp goes around the chain not on the hooks so if you attach this underneath here it's 16 inches in length if you attach it in between then you get 18 inches again this only comes in rose gold and i would have preferred it in yellow gold to match my serpenti jewelry but i also wear rose gold i like to mix my metals anyway so i just think it's so pretty i just love how it lays on my collarbone so i also tried these serpenti earrings and of course the like viper necklaces that coil around your neck but for just a casual everyday necklace i really like this style and i like how it goes with my serpenti set and now my new serpenti top handle bag all right guys that is everything that i got from my trip to canada thank you so much everyone who suggested all the restaurants and all the sites to see and places to shop in Toronto. I had so much fun. I definitely plan to return. I actually am returning next year because I'll be going back for a wedding. I had so much fun visiting Toronto and getting this exciting Canada hot stamp on my new LV wallet and checking off my Bulgari Serpenti items off my wish list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!